It's going down. We are live right here. Shout out to our friends at Essential for giving us this 360 phone to tape it. We are here at Morse Code for the Dash Radio pop-up with one of my good friends who I actually hoped I wouldn't be interviewing this weekend, I to know. be honest. I know. Jeremiah Searles from the Vikings. What's good, brother? Oh, man, just back in the city and... Uh it's a bittersweet feeling, right? I know. You, we least. were talking about this on text the other day. You said now it it really is hitting you, kind of now, right? Yeah. I mean, I got out of here right when the season ended. I, I had to get out of here. I mean, just yeah. it was so the way it ended was so hard. And then left, and I got home to Lincoln in my house. Kind of got unpacked, relaxed, and then I was like, all right, I got to head back up, do some events and stuff. And as I was driving up, and I saw just like you start getting closer to the city, you start seeing the more hype, and it just kind of ripped, just kind of ripped the wound right back oh, open. Because I mean, you you look around, and you're like, we were so close to doing something so special and bringing a Super Bowl to a hometown that's never been done before. And it's it just, it, it stings. It definitely stings a little walking around here. Especially you, you being a Midwestern boy mm-hmm. anyway. So, like, yep. this is kind of your home team, even if it wasn't where you were playing. But, ah, anyways, we're here. Yep, we're here. So, I mean, it's been a great opportunity. I got to meet a lot of people this yeah. week, got to do some things. I mean, I've always wanted to experience, like, what a Super Bowl week is. But I think I was texting you, too. I highly, highly underestimated the chaos that ensues on Super Bowl week. It's actually probably good because if, if you guys were in it it would have just been so insane to do anything you probably wouldn't have even been able to focus just with I mean there would have been so many distractions it would have been very tough for the team to be here everybody obviously a home field advantage but also it would have been a disadvantage in a lot of those ways I think you're right I, I think that it, I mean it would have been awesome don't get me yeah. wrong that would have been fantastic yeah of course oh, yeah. but uh there's definitely some things that you just you start thinking about and you're like man that could have been really cool but yeah. it's like you said I think with all the people, I got some buddies that are on the team on Patriots and Eagles, and they're like, this city is super, super cool, yeah. except for it's freezing outside. Besides, <laughs> that's a, that's besides, besides, besides that, saying, we're, so. we're, we're, we're going to make it work. But Minnesota's great. Everybody watches. It's fantastic when it's not minus 20 degrees outside. <laughs> <laughs> but you're only outside. We got the Skyway systems and everything. Oh, yeah, that's the great thing. And we got Dash in the Skyways over here, too. Yeah. So if you walk through, we're powering the music, so you know it's good. All right. Oh, absolutely. No you're doubt. actually you're actually one of the biggest DJs on the team. You'd send me as many requests as anybody else. I think you and Jet lead the team. Maybe Steph. Yeah, probably you and Jet in terms of requests, but you're always getting the new EDM and all that stuff. Yeah, what are you listening to right now? That's my thing. Um, right now, I'm, I'm really listening to some of the, the new Marshmallow that's coming out. Um, I'm really uh, old school, like old Tiesto, uh, yeah. old Cascade. I'm excited to see him at the Barstool Party. He's one of the OGs that I like listening yep. to. And uh, I mean, I really just, I'm, I'm big into the EDM scene. I think it's it's music that I can really like relate to yeah. and get on. I think that's the most important thing about music is whatever like really like talks to you. I, mean, yeah. I don't got to tell you that, but yeah, I'm into it. But I, I always loved when like, I got to meet you for the first time. I was like at a training camp, I think it was. Yeah. And I was like, bro, we got to like just party and just chill and listen <laughs> to some music together. You're like, dude, let's do it. And so yes. ever since then, but yeah, I mean, Jet for sure. I don't know if I ever see that guy without oh, headphones he's on. Yo, he's showing me music. Like I'm like, what song is this? And I'm like, it just came out like the night before or something. Like I haven't even heard. Dude, like, it's weird as the sound. The dude showers with headphones on. <laughs> I, I swear. Like he'll walk in there, we'll all be like, dude, what are you doing? Like he's like, dude, I gotta have music. I gotta have music. And you know, how Jet talks. He's got like that high oh, voice. Oh man, I gotta have the music. But uh, yeah, I mean, between the two of us, man, we definitely talk. Jet's one of my really good buddies too. He, but it's been awesome. a blast. Yeah, has it been for all you guys and stuff, uh, especially leaving and leaving Philadelphia, especially the way it was. What was it like being on the bus? By the way, I saw stuff like getting thrown. And all, like, <laughs> so how at, do you guys like? I hate to even re no, you that, good. but like from your perspective, like what does it feel like? Because I felt it from a fan. Like mm-hmm. people were yelling at me the most obscene things. Oh like, my gosh. I, I literally brought Warren Sapp with me to the game, to, not just as a friend, but as a bodyguard yeah. to get me out of there. Seriously. And it was good luck because last time he was there, they won the NFC Anyways, but it was just the most insane thing. From you guys, it was even worse from the videos. What was it like leaving and just that whole flight? And well, I mean, so, so obviously like you're upset about the game, right? And yeah. you're not fun. And we always call it our sad meal. Like you go, you get your yeah. food and you get on the bus and we're sitting there and we're eating. And it's like you're literally you're like eating like we had a Philly cheesesteak and you're just looking out the bus and just like beer, <laughs> food. And it's just one thing after another. You're like, oh, my, come on, can we just get out of here? But like the crazy thing was I've talked about it a little bit this week. Yeah. Our families, like our, our families have these horror stories. Really? I mean, my mom, my dad and my wife were there and they were getting spit on. They were getting beers poured on them, like obscene, like you said, just obscene things getting said to them. No, and it just crazy. it was crazy. I mean, to the point where. Once it was all said and done. And like, this is even after they won. That's what was a little crazy. That, like, Warren's like, yo, you guys won. And he's neutral. Like, he yeah. doesn't really care. Like, like, I would have been extremely concerned if the score would have been flipped. Like, if, if the score yeah. would have been flipped, like, we would have had to send our security personnel to go get our families out of there just because of everything that was going on. I mean, it was just absurd. Like, there's one thing to say about having a passionate fan base. Yeah. Like, I'm all for that. For sure. But 
And it's just a few bad apples. That's the thing. Like, there's some great fans there. I've got a lot of friends in those yeah. things too. But yeah, there's. I mean, I've never experienced anything like that. No, I mean, and I live it. And, and look, I'm lucky. I get to live it a different way. I'm on the field. I'm mm-hmm. in the front row behind you guys. Like, so I'm not even in the middle of the crowd. And still to see that, and you guys are the players. You guys yeah. should never see any of those things, dude. It's ridiculous. Like, I think no matter home or away, no one should ever feel scared to go to a game. Yeah. Like you, should, as a fan in part of the NFL, like we're entertainers. That's yeah. what we are. And I mean, I know that we all feel like you should never feel frightened or scared to have to go to a football game like you should go be able to enjoy yourself have fun yeah. like yeah there might be some razzing but you should never feel like for fr- sure. afraid and my parents looked at me like we will never go back to philly and i would i would never send them back yeah. to philly well hopefully we don't have to hopefully we're having all those nfc championship games yeah, that's here what in, i like to hear in our own building and stuff so how do you how do you move on from this now in the off season focus when do you let it keep burning and motivate you next year or is it like all right that already happened now it's like we're good i mean i think it's something that you got to learn from i mean mm-hmm. anything in life when something bad happens to you, you either let it define you or you learn from it and you grow. And I think that even learning from the 2016 season where we started off so well and then kind of fell off from the edge, we learned from that as a team. And I think that was one of the reasons we had so much success this year is we were we were able to learn from that experience and not let that season define who we were. And so this game won't define who we are. I mean, we have a young, young team. And I think we have a lot of pieces in place to come back. Yeah. And I think that we'll use this as a learning experience and as a tool so that when we come back in 2018, we're, we're, we're right back where we started. But, I mean, it's not going to be easy. You don't get to start the season halfway no, through right? it 10-3 and three again. Like, you got to start everyone 0-0 zero and, zero and everyone is Super Bowl champions after this Sunday. It's going to be fun. And, well, I think one great thing about, from, from a Vikings fan perspective and a player's perspective, is you kind of get to experience all the hype and the greatness of Super Bowl week because mm-hmm. it's in, in your city and you guys are going around doing all the promotional tours and going to the events. So when it happens, you've already been there and done that. Even though you're obviously not playing in the game this weekend, you still have that. I think a lot of the team will have that experience of what Super Bowl week is like. Yeah, absolutely. And it is absolute utter chaos. And I, it, It's I, insane. What's been the craziest thing you've seen so far? Dude, Radio Row. Have you been over there at Mall of America? <laughs> That's why we set up ours totally outside of that. We Dude, didn't want to be in the middle of that drama and craziness. This, so for what Radio Row is for people that don't know, it's like 10,000 radio stations. Like every radio station from... The little one in Kazakhstan to the biggest ones in New York and yep. L.A. And you just sit like at tables like this, but millions of them, mm-hmm. basically, and go person to person to person to person to person to person amongst 10,000 other athletes and celebrities. And Oh, and by the way, it's in the biggest mall in the world. <laughs> yeah. Which with is- the max amount of people possible. Oh, yeah, everybody watching. And- yeah, there's people just like around. So you're trying to talk from like me to you here. And what? Like. Yeah, it's what you, it, that's it why we're here. Chaos. This, this is awesome. Setup. This place is super it's pretty cool. cool, right? I really like. Yeah, but that's been the like I highly underestimated that as well. Just going over there in Radio Row, and then the convention center is really cool. Yeah. I have got to do a couple events yeah, down there. I play sixty event. Uh, I did a deal with the Wounded Warriors down there, and it's that's great. a really neat experience too. Awesome. My wife and I are actually gonna go down there and kind of walk around, that's just awesome. take it in a little bit, and. I like. I guess I'm a glutton for punishment, and just like rubbing salt in the wounds. So, so. are you are you going to watch the actual game? We're actually going to go. Are you going to um, go? The wife and I are going to awesome. go. She's always wanted. She's talked about it. I mean, ever since we were in college, like how cool would it be to go to a Super Bowl? And gr- I'm glad you are. A lot so, of players won't go, but it's a great experience to have to see, and especially just you get to see. You've never probably watched a game from the stands in that stadium. Nope. So now you're like, oh, this is what it looks like. Yeah, here. exactly. We're gonna, we're going to go down. We're going to see the game. We just see Timberlake at halftime and do yeah. all the fun stuff. And but it will be. I mean, I think it'd be one thing if we were going in a different stadium, but like watching a game from our my stadium, like I'm gonna look out there and there's gonna be Me no too. Vikings, and it's just gonna be like, this is weird, like, and I'm not gonna get the Gallahorns not gonna be rolling, and All right. it's gonna be interesting. But it'll be fun. It's like you said, I'm looking forward to the experience. It's gonna be fun, Jeremiah. Thank you so much for taking your time out. I know you got a million things going on this Super Bowl weekend. When are we going to Vegas? Though? That's what I want. Um, We're gonna get it on the record. So we need to figure this out. Let's 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 shoot for uh, let's shoot for post free agency. So I'm signed. Hopefully back here at the Vikings. <laughs> yes, we'll go celebrate, and then we'll go celebrate. Make it happen, Rick. <laughs> we out here. It's going down live from Morse Code. This is Dash Radio. I'm DJ Ski. Shout out to everybody on Facebook Live, our friends at Essential, for giving us this video in 360. So see, Jeremiah, we're all in 360 right now, so they can oh, see dang. everything, the whole world. That's neat. Shout out to all y'all watching. Shout out to everybody hitting us up. Mike, what up? We'll see y'all. We'll be back in a second. Yeah.